All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Kol Lam La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And the Shalom to Anki and out there that's pushing the truth through spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this lesson is going to be titled, Quitting is Not an Option. Okay? Quitting is not an option, all right? And, um, you know, and it's truth, <clears throat> you know, uh, you know, it's like the movie, you know, that that movie, the title, uh, how, how does it go? Well, blood in and blood out, you know, you have to keep going, you know, you have to keep continue to persevere, no matter how difficult, you know, the spiritual war may get, no matter how, you know, um, um, hard. You know, you, this, uh, your walk may become, but we have to continue to remain faithful to Yahweh Shema Shai, continue to push and continue to stay the course, okay? Because we have a, we have a, let's get it real quick, all right? This is the book of, let me so I can turn that data on real quick. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. chapter 12 and verse 13 and it says let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear the most high yahweh by hashim Shai, right fear you know we got to fear the lord right and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man you know so ultimately all right you know us ultimately what does that mean i mean serving how about shimao shy you know that's the whole that's the whole conclusion of the matter right so we must continue to serve you how about small shy with all truth and sincerity, you know, with all mind, body, and soul. Okay, and what does that mean? That means that you know we gotta, you know, we gotta continue to go harder, you know, because the scriptures say, you know, um, let's get it real quick. Uh let's see. This is the book of Baruch, chapter four and verse twenty-eight. It says, For it for as it was your mind to go astray from the most high. So being returned, right, you know, being woken back up, uh, or excuse me, I'll, I'll say uh, being woken up, right, to our pair of minds, you know, having our pair of minds stirred up by way of remembrance, right, coming back to Yahweh about Shema Shah and, re and repenting, right? So being returned, seek him 10 times more. So we got to seek the Lord, you know, more because we have this knowledge because we've been, uh, you know, uh, we've been awakened, right? So it's our duty to continue to serve Yahweh about Shema Shah you know, continue to keep pushing, you know, no matter what, okay, no matter what you're going through in your life, no matter the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bitter that you gotta, you know, embrace in this truth, okay, no matter the circumstances that you're going through in your personal life, okay, we got to continue to put this truth first, okay, because, um, um, a few weeks ago, I was watching the elder, um, Barack Abar's lesson, Oh, man, it's like I forgot the name of the lesson, the title, but uh, he said a, a, a very, um, a very heavy uh, statement. He said, uh, your life doesn't uh, evolve around the truth. Uh, what did he say? Uh, he, oh, he said the truth doesn't uh, um, evolve around your life, but your life uh, evolves. It's supposed to uh, evolve around your uh, your life is supposed to uh, evolve around the uh, the, uh, the uh, truth. Okay, because the truth comes first, you know, you have Bashima Shai comes first, right? So we got to continue to seek the Lord 10 times more, okay? So we can't, you know, get discouraged or get deterred, you know, from, you know, from, uh, you know, off this path of righteousness, okay? We have to continue to keep pushing, okay? Because, real quick, this is the book of Luke, chapter 9 and verse 62. And it says, and you have a shy said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right. So we can't look back in the world, man. OK, you know, we, we got to keep going, looking forward. OK, we got to keep, you know, pressing towards that mark, you know, of Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's what, you know, the Apostle Paul says in the book of Philippians. Let's snag it real quick. We you know we can't look back, man. We got to keep pushing. You know, you know, we put our hand to the plow, 
you know, we, 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 we doing the work of the Lord, you know, so there, you know, and, and top of that too, you know, you know, we're at the, the, the home stretch, you know, Babylon's crumbling from the inside out. You got more migrants in Babylon. Okay. You have, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, economy of Babylon is, is, uh, diminishing. Okay. Esau, he's, he's about ready to, uh, introduce the world to the, you know, the great reset, AKA the MOTB, you know, uh, you have the, uh, more talks of World War three and, you know, on, on the high rise. All right. So these things, these prophecies are, are, you know, uh, uh, inching closer day by day. Okay. So we can't look back. We can't quit. So I mentioned Philippians. All right. This is Philippians three and verse 13. And it says, brethren, I, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind, right, man? You know the things that are behind us, man. We gotta keep we keep pushing, as the old saying goes. You know the show must go on. So whatever things, you know, whatever things that you know, uh, uh, you know, whatever you know, mistakes, you know, what I'm saying, um, faults, you know, whatever the case may be, just keep going. Okay, do not stop reading. Do not stop preaching the word. Do not stop doing your lessons. Don't stop being brotherly. Don't stop being charitable. Okay. Don't stop being righteous in the name of Yahweh Bashima Shai. Okay. We have to continue to keep the course, man. Okay. We have to. Okay. This is our duty. This, like it says in Romans 12 and uh um two or one. I'll get it real quick after this precept. But it says that you know this is our reasonable service, being living a sacrifice, right? So it says. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching before unto those things which are before. Excuse me. It says and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high Yahweh and Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And that prize ultimately is what? Deliverance, salvation, you know, getting crowned by Yahweh Shah himself. OK, that's the prize that, that you know, that we, you know, want to obtain. OK. That's the goal that we are striving for. That's why this lesson is titled quitting is not an option. So we must continue to push. Right. But since I mentioned it, Romans 12 and in one, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. Right. I beseech means beg. I beg you. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the most high that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right. Meaning what? That we have to put this truth first, put the Lord first. OK, we have to put ourselves in a back burner, put the world in the back burner, put our families, you know, and our friends that we have in the world, put the put people, put those in the back burner. Right. And put the how about and put your how about how shimmy, how shy first. Right. Especially when it comes to doing a lesson, doing the work, going to camp. All right. All that sh all that shit can be handled after. But we have a we but we have a duty. OK, and it says it says, holy, acceptable unto the most high, which is your reasonable service. See, because like how I said, he's about his father's business. OK, so we got to be so we got to be about the father's business as well. All right. So I got that. Now, let's get this real quick. <clears throat> so like, yeah. Real quick, so I can got type this in real quick. Quick preset. This is uh okay. Here it is. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter two and verse three. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach." Okay. You know, you know, being a being a, a good a, a spiritual soldier, you know, because, you know, it says, you know, uh, that exceeding great army. Now, now the army is a spiritual army. You know, you got, got brothers waking up, you know, so so as brothers waking up, you know, as you have woken up, as I have woken up, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shema Kagwadash, we got to we have to continue to endure as that good soldier. Anyhow, Shai Mashiach, right? We got to we got to uh, endure hardness, you know, and hardness, you know, 
I believe actually let me get me let me get this precept in the BLB, the Blue Letter Bible, uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Okay, this word hardness, it means uh to suffer, to endure evils, hardships, troubles, to be afflicted. And the word for hardness is Strong's G twenty five fifty three. Carcapatheo. Carcapatheo. Kaapatheo. Okay, so the word hardness, the word is ka uh, kaapatheo, and the word kaapatheo it means to suffer, endure evils, troubles, hardships, to be afflicted. Right, and that's in the Greek, distress, afflicted. Right, so we must continue to endure, you know, uh, uh, hardships, afflictions. You know, hey, that bitter. You know, Apostle Kabar, You know, he he always goes into goes in about that. He said that, you know, uh. We were, we were brought into this truth to to uh, to suffer, okay, to go to, to go through that bitter, right? So we gotta get so we got so we gotta continue to endure, you know that you know that suffering, you know, and be good soldiers, spiritual soldiers for Yahushua Mashiach, you know, and keep enduring hardness, right? So we can't quit, right? That's why the scriptures say, uh, "And your uh, patience possess ye your souls." The word patience means to suffer. Right. So we have to continue to, you know, uh, um, you know, to strive to strive to the finish line. All right. Now, speaking of the word endure. This is the book of Matthew. What's that? Uh, Matthew. Uh, endure to the end. This is the book of Matthew, chapter. 24 and 13 it says but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and what does that mean enduring to the end when you don't stop doing the work you know staying in the spirit you know keeping that oil fresh right reading studying you know going into you know news articles and constantly watching you know the you know uh, uh, videos of the uh the the uh the elder apostles you know the bishops Right. Constantly keeping staying in tune. Right. So we have to continue to endure. Right. Endure, you know, afflictions endure the spiritual battle. It's the spiritual war. Right. Because we want to be delivered. I know you want to be delivered. I want to be delivered. Right. That's why we say that we are the hopeful elect. We hope that we're delivered, but we have faith that we are of the elect. You see. So we got to keep pushing because I read again, Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall be, but, but he that shall endure unto the end, right? The same shall be saved. So we got to keep pushing the word, keep preaching. Okay. Just like, just like we read it in the Philippians, the third chapter, the apostle Paul, he, he said, I must keep looking forward. Okay. Toward the prize of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So we got to keep looking forward, man. Okay. This is the book of 2 Timothy. I'm sorry, not 2 Timothy. Um, 2 Peter. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. And it says, Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay, now, now let's head to the B.O.B. The Blue Letter Bible and see what that word diligence means. Okay of second peter one and verse 10 and it says the word here for diligence is strong's g 4704 spudazzo 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 okay and the word diligence the, the word diligence means of uh, says uh uh to haste to hasten to make head uh to make haste to uh exert oneself let's see here and that word exert, uh, E X E R T, it means um, uh, apply or bring to or bring or apply or bring to bear, make a physical or mental effort, right? So putting your best foot forward to to uh, exert oneself, right? The scriptures say, uh, 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 whatever kind of work you do, you know, do it with all your might. So how much more the work of Yahweh Shimon Shai? The scriptures say, if you don't work, you don't eat, 
right? And that's and that, and that goes both ways, spiritually and currently, right? We got we got to work to be you know in Babylon. We got to you know we got to stay afloat in this society. But while but also too on the flip side of that coin, you know spiritual, right? Spiritual work, you know, reading, studying, doing lessons, right? But you know uh, uh you know being a, being a, being a, a good brother to one another, you see. So so we must work to get that uh you know that uh. You know that uh, that spiritual paycheck, if you will, you know, get that you know deliverance, salvation, right? Because that's what we hope for to be delivered. That's why we're doing this work. The scriptures say, we, you know, with without faith, it, um, it says, uh, "Show that I um, show that faith by that works," right? So us working, you know, doing doing the, the you know the work, you know, um, that's of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. That's that, that's showing our faith, right? It goes hand in hand. So we must continue to exert. Right, and put our best foot forward and remain diligent. Right, and it says, uh, to, to exert oneself, uh, uh, endeavor, give diligence. Right here, it says to labor or study. Right now, back in the scripture, it says, Second Peter 1 and 10. Well, for the we're for the rather brethren, give diligence, right, to make your calling and election sure. Right, man, to make to make your to make your, your deliverance, you know, um. Uh, solidified, you know. We got to keep working, man. This is the father. This, this is the uh, Yahweh Bashman Shai's business. It says, "For if ye do uh, these things, ye shall never fall." Right. So if we continue to stick to the script, apply the scriptures, right. Walk, you know, uh, 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 continue to walk on the spirit to the to the best of our abilities, you know. Keep reading, studying, you know. Keep that oil fresh. Right. Doing lessons, going to camp, being sincere, being, you know, uh, being uh, humble, being a good brother to another brother. You know, we look, guess what? We're not we're not going to fall. We're not going to fail. All right. And we and, and, and but in the midst of doing all these things, we have faith and fear, man. OK, so hey, th th this lesson is titled quitting is not an option, you know, so stay the course, keep pushing, you know, and hey, just. You know, keep your head up, okay, and don't allow Satan to uh to um sift you. Don't allow Satan to isolate you know your mind, heavy overthinking, have you having anxiety to the point where it's on the verge of overthrow. You gotta rebuke that, you know. I got I gush a ton. I rebuke the Satan in the name of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai by Shem Kakwadash, okay. So with that being said, I just want to say, call lame la. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Once again, giving double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And a shall to you, sensitive Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha, Rakakwadash, and Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was fed and edified. That being said, Shalom.